Prime Minister Andrew Holness and his wife, Member of Parliament and the Deputy Speaker of the House, Juliet Holness, were vaccinated in Kingston on Monday. The island began its immunization drive on March 10 when the first dose of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine was administered. Carl Francis has the details. Jamaica's Prime Minister Andrew Holness and opposition leader Mark Golding received vaccines against the coronavirus COVID-19 on Monday, March 22 at the Good Samaritan Inn in Kingston. The first to arrive was Mark Golding. Good afternoon, Mr. Golding. Are you afraid of the needle? <laughs> no. <laughs> After going through the standard round of pre-vaccination questions, Mr. Golding was vaccinated. Shortly after, Prime Minister Andrew Holness and his wife arrived at the Good Samaritan Inn. It's one of the vaccines that were tested at school. So today, you'll be receiving the first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine. The vaccine was developed and produced by a team from Oxford University and the British-Swedish pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca. Having already received his vaccine, Mr. Golding shared a jocular moment with Mr. Holness. <laughs> Good one. The Prime Minister and his wife were given their first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Vaccine? Given to our Prime Minister. And it's 0.5 is the dosage. Prime Minister Holness, who said he did not feel a thing on receiving the injection, is urging all Jamaicans to get vaccinated. Take the vaccine when your time comes. Do it orderly. We don't want to see a spike in the numbers as a result of persons going to take the vaccine. Because remember, even after you've taken the vaccine, there is a period of time for your immunity to build. So in, during that period of time, there is still a potential. And then if there is um, over, <clears throat> if there are too many persons gathering at the site, uh, let's say persons come did not get through, then they would have been exposed. So it has to be done in an orderly way. Uh, and I know the challenges of the distribution of anything that's scarce. There are persons who believe that it might run out that they don't get, so they want to come to the end of the line. So I want to assure all Jamaicans that the government is putting in all the effort necessary to ensure that we have a steady stream of vaccination, um, of vaccines, and that the vaccination process can go on without being um, broken at any point in time. So you will get your vaccines and the schedules that have been put out in terms of persons who have been given uh, times to attend for their vaccine, those will be met. He also encouraged Jamaicans to continue observing the COVID-19 protocols, including social distancing. I just want to say that the numbers will continue to rise if we do not observe the protocols. It is in our interest at this point in time to restrict our movements. If you do not have to go somewhere, stay at home. Only move for reasons that are productive or essential. If you don't have to go out, stay home. If you have to go out, wear your mask, maintain your social distance, your physical distance, which is not happening here, by the way. But somehow we will ensure that all the journalists get their vaccines uh, with the group that would be considered essential in terms of government workers. So I, I've gotten a letter from the, 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 the PAJ and I am going to ensure that um, the, the, the journalists who are so recommended by the PAJ that they get their access to vaccines. The symbolic significance of the country's leaders being vaccinated helps to reassure citizens that the COVID-19 vaccine is safe. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Carol Francis.